All right, guys, so we may be replacing both, but I'm gonna start on the one I know we're replacing, which is gonna be for the two top floors, uh, which is your second and your third floor, and that's the bigger one. Uh, we're gonna be going back with a two and a half ton system for this and uh, placing it back over here. Uh, it's pretty tight, but we should have enough room. Shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Um, we're gonna be replacing its electrical whip and disconnect box, which is clearly marked. And then we're just flushing the line set and re-insulating um, the main line of it. So uh, Now if we do both of them, we'll of course do the first floor uh, disconnect and electrical whip. And I, I don't know if we're flush, yeah, and flushing or um, if we're going to be replacing it. I haven't looked at the basement unit yet, um, but it just depends on if we can access it. Um, anyways, to be determined on that one, but uh, for the first floor here, uh, it's a little two-ton, which is what we're going to be going back with. Uh, and again, space-wise, a little bit compact. Uh, both of them are going to need a little bit of dirt and a, a pad, um, just to level out back here. Yeah, a two-ton here, two and a half ton. This was the second. Let's just turn it on. It's for the second and the third floor, and that's the one that we're for sure replacing. And this one right here is the one we may be replacing for the first floor. It goes into the back, which this will be tight um, with getting the condenser. Uh, I mean, this tree is, I mean, you're, you're going to have to be able to get it up about chest high for me. <laughs> or maybe waist high. I mean, right here it will get through, but you're going to have to have them a little bit lifted to get the unit in and out. And I don't know yet if we can access the alleyway back there, uh, but I will ask the homeowner. Uh, once I get in. If not, then you will have to go this route here.